Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sahib from Sahib Tech, and in this tutorial, we'll be looking at Gmail. Full review of Gmail, okay? It might be too long, but I'll be telling you all the features of Gmail in detail. So, first, how to go to Gmail. First, go to Google and make sure you sign into your account. I'm signed into my account. Now, just click on Gmail here, or just type Gmail. I'll show you the both ways. Just type Gmail, or... You can just uh, click Gmail over here. That's my favorite way, but you can do it any way you want. Now, if you click on the first option here, it'll open the same thing here also. So now you can see I'm up. Now I'm in the page of Gmail. So this is the Gmail page. So that's really clear. I know that. So let me just zoom in a bit to show you guys. Yeah. Okay. That's big. Okay. So now you can see there's a number over here. You're asking me what that number is? That number is the number of unread messages. Now, I have received 11 messages and I have read none of them. I have received 11 messages and I haven't read any of those. And I'll show you some tricks you can use so that you can just use it and you can make Gmail a bit better. Okay. Let's go through the first three tabs. Like in the primary tab, now yeah, primary is a person-to-person -person conversation and messages that don't appear in other tabs. Yeah, it's like a person-to-person -person message, like a conversation or something. So now the next tab is called as the social tab. Let me click on social tab. So social tab are messages which comes from the social networks, like you know, other websites, media sharing sites, online dating services, and um, all of them. So like other social websites, social networks, and all of the rest of it. Now you can see I've received two social messages, which are, you know, those Facebook and Emerge Training, Account Certification, all those stuff. And the next tab is the Promotion tab. In the Promotion tab, we only receive deals, offers, and other marketing emails. Now, I have received two, and one from the Grammarly, and you know, Grammarly is that, you know, that app, which just corrects your writing. It corrects everything. The next one is that, you know, the insurance market. So, so these three tabs are also helpful. Like, if you want to just, um, you can go through them. So, now I've received 11 primary. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay. Here also we can see some tabs. So now we are in the inbox tab. Inbox tab means the messages we receive. So now I have received 11 messages. Now you think you're asking me what is start messages? Let's see for example this Google community is a very important mail and you don't want to lose it and you want to save it. So what you can do is star it so that you like then when you go to start tab you can see that google community will be right here so that's also awesome so that's also a very good trick you can just use it so it's also cool so that you don't lose any important message now you can see i received a message from my friend and an important message and a how are you doing message and a hi message trial and all those stuff okay we'll go through one of them one by one okay now let's for example let's open up one of those messages okay let's open this one so now he's now mama time is says hello there so now now you can see there are three options like three buttons gmail knows what the other person has sent and they are now just showing replies which you can use like for example hello there so you can just like got it thanks or you can say hi how are you and you can say it works like because I've put the subject as message trial, so the Gmail will know that they're just checking if the message will come or not. So I sent hello there, now I can just say like, you know, um, got it, thanks. Now when I say the message will like this come in a dialog box, you just have to just, you can edit them, the text. You can edit it by making it a bit bigger. We'll go through them one by one. You have to make sure you select the text and you can make it bigger, bolder. I don't like bold. Just send it. Snoozed me the messages you snooze. Let's do it by snoozing one message. Now let me snooze this message. So what I do is at the top there are some icons, right? I go through them and then I see over here it's snooze. So now they'll show a list like snooze later today or tomorrow, this week, next week, or you can just pick a time and date. So that now when I just pick a date and time, it will be there with the snoozed column. But I don't want to do that. Okay, the sent messages are the message you sent. Like, for example, just now I just sent right a message. Got it, thanks. So that message has been saved in the sent tab. Draft are the messages. For example, you sent a message. 
like you were sending a very important mail and then suddenly your computer's battery was low and it just shut down and then you're like oh my god i'm gonna type the whole thing again no you don't need to do that you just have to go to the draft caller for example now for example you're gonna send a mail so to send a mail you have to cl click on the plus sign many of yours must be like this all you have to do is click on the plus sign and then just come here but you don't want it to be like that on the top there's three lines you can see that if you click on that it will just show so you can keep it the way you want like this or like this it's your wish i keep it like this i click on the plus sign and then i write the mail for example i'm writing the mail to my let me say to this guy okay and i put the subject as very important and now I'm sending it. I'm sending like like I'm just sending. I'm just sending the very important mail. Let me just send. The, let me just write the mail. So now I've just typed this piece of mail. Let me just make it bigger to show you guys. Okay, I got it. So you can see here. Let me just zoom out. Okay, let me just zoom in a bit. Okay. I know this. Okay, now I've just sent like dear boss. Unfortunately, that all just I'm just a trial. Just I'm just sending it. Now you can see this is underlined. I can just make it tomorrow. Now whenever you okay, now I'm done. You can just edit the text also. For example, you can make text uh, thanks a bit huge. You can make it bold. You can change the font into a nice font. You can change the text color. You can change the background color. You can give it an underline effect. You can even make a bullet point effect. You can even just um, remove all the formatting you just did. You can do, you can even add a code and all of them. So now I'm done. So I'm sending this message to my boss. <laughs> so now when I send it, and now in the sent mail, I sent it, right? Now, for example, now I'm just, now let me just copy, copy this mail. I sent it. Now I showed you how to send the message. Control C. Now, for example, you were, let me just. Wait. Reset. Okay. For example, you were sending the message to a boss. Let's say you were sending the message to a boss, like, let me do this, my email. Okay. Like, I'm just control V. Okay. Now, I, I was just do, uh, typing all of this, okay? And then suddenly, I bad mistakenly closed it. I'm like, oh my god! No! Okay, you're like, oh my god, not to type everything again, and that will be time wasting, and the boss will be angry with me. Well, he, he won't be angry with you because if you come here, you can see in the drafts column, they're showing number one. If you click on that, the message I sent to the boss will be saved in the draft column. So now you can see the message has come back and now you can send it to your boss. Send it. The message is gone. You can send, click on view message to see it. So that's awesome. So now, now the draft column, I don't have anything because I just sent it. So saving a draft allows you to keep a message you aren't ready to send yet. Yeah, that's also a part of the definition of drafts. So I still have 10 messages left. So let's go through them. Google community, I know that. Okay. Okay. Now here, I just want to tell you, wait, let me just show you. Okay. In the important section, you can see all the important messages. These are my important messages. And you can see it is showing inbox. That's because the, um, because it was an inbox because my friend sent it and this message was from my boss. Now I want to tell you that if you want to change the color for red, like you can just right click, like let me show you. You can wait. It sometimes doesn't come. It seems to be not working. I'll be showing you next. Okay, afterwards. Okay. Chats mean the messages like you want to chat with somebody. I'll be showing you that also in a moment. Scheduled also I'll be showing you. All mails are all the mails. Sent mail, inbox mails, all of them. Spam are the messages. For example, someone sent you a message and you blocked that person. Like someone sent you a message and you're like, who's this guy? He's not. I don't know this guy. And you're like, I'm going to like block him. So you just block him, and then now whenever he sends a message again, it won't come in your inbox section. It will come in your spam section. So that's also cool. Trash are the messages you should delete it, like I've deleted this message. And now there is categories in which you can there are you know social updates, forums, promotions, 
and you can even manage your labels here. You can even create your own na label, so that's awesome. Okay, we're done with all of those. So now let's just go through the chat I was just talking about. Just um, okay, let's start. Okay, first let's uh, go through the settings and all the stuff, and then we'll go to this part, the Google Meet and chat section. Okay, so here this is the refresh button. And this three, you can just add markers all as red. That's also a pretty handy tool if you have many messages and you don't, and you know, and you don't want to read them one by one. You just have to mark all as red directly. So that's also cool. Now here there's a select option. So if you click on that, every message will get selected. Or you can select only the unread messages. You can only select the start messages. You can only select. You can select all messages, and you can deselect by clicking on the box itself. So that's cool. Okay. Now this one is the search mail in which you can just search any mail you want and now I'm going to show you a pretty cool trick here. Okay, you want to see that trick? Okay. For example, my boss three of my boss has sent three messages and I haven't read it, okay? So now for example, I type my uh, no. No, sorry. I have to click on this drop down menu. And then a small um, drop down menu will come here. Now it's like from, right? Now I'll just type from. I'll not give it as from. I'll just type the subject. The subject is my boss. You can even type the mail ID here, but I'm not. Has the words. Uh, no. Doesn't have the words. Wait. Okay. Size is greater than nothing. Okay. Date within. Okay. Search um, all mail. Okay. Okay, now I'm done with that. Now here you can just change it to MB, KB, bytes, and all those stuff. And now you can just click now. For example, you want to create a folder just for your boss so that whenever your boss sends a message or whenever your teacher or whenever your friend sends a message, it will come in the inbox section, but it will also come in another per, uh, separate folder over here. That will be also awesome. So what I do is I just give the details I want to give. And then I can just click on all these. You can just go select. I just want my boss is the subject. And then I click. I don't click search. Search means they will only search the messages for you guys. But if you click on create filter, they will just make a small, you know, box. So now, I just, you can just, now you can just go through all these drop down boxes, menus, and sorry, not the drop down boxes, sorry, the check boxes. And you can just go through one by one. So now I so whenever a message arrives from that person, I want to starve it, and I want to apply it to three matching conversations. I want to wait. I I want to always mark it as important, and then now um okay okay now I apply the label. Now here only the uh, the trick works. Now apply the label. You check the box. And then you click on choose label and you click new label. Now I have to give the label a name. Let me give my boss. Okay, I'm just typing boss. Okay, you can even nest the label under something. I just click create. And now when I just created create. Now when I just cre clicked on create. Now you can see inbox, starts, news, sent, drafts, and what's that? Yeah, my boss. So now the folder has been created, so now it's very awesome. So now I'm going to show you some tricks. So I click on create filter. The filter is created. Okay. So I, now they've now they've shown me only my boss's messages. Let me go back to my inbox. Okay. Now you can see my boss. From my boss, I've received three messages. If I hover my mouse over the number three, and there will be a three dots. If I click on that, you can change the label color so that you can it will be attractive. So it will just um, you know pull your attention. You can even add a custom color. So let me choose the darkest red I can find. Let me choose that yellow. And the background will be red, black, dark red. Okay, and this will be white. Okay, my boss. Now it looks a bit like, you know, scary. 
I click apply and now you can see to show like, my boss, my boss, my boss. Now you show like, my boss. So that's really awesome. So whenever my boss sends a message, it will be there as my boss. So that's really cool. That's also cool. Now let's do it again with my friend. Now you can see I received three friend message from my friend. So let's do that again. Click on the drop down menu. And let me just zoom in so that you all get a better view. Okay, then we just type the subject because you can you have to type from because I'm type clicking subject because the mail ID is different and the subject I just put it as my boss just to show you guys because I'm I don't have any boss okay so I just um, used one of the mail ID my mail ID I used my Google mail ID and I just sent the mail to this account this mail ID and I put the subject as my boss so that's why I'm just typing my boss oh, sorry now which is my friend so now has the words you can even type has the words and all those stuff if you even the add the date you can even click on if it has if it has the attachment or if it doesn't include any chat and then you can just select all these you can select the you know the date it's showing the icon here now instead of clicking search means they'll just search i just told you before i'm clicking create filter and now i'm just clicking it as um i'm start no i don't want to start it this time i'm gonna uh, I'm I'm gonna up also apply to three matching conversations. I'm gonna apply label. Yeah, that's the important part. And I choose label. I now I'm not clicking my boss. I'm clicking another. I'm I'm making another label. So this time I'm typing my friend. Oh, friend. He'll be angry when I said find. You can just nest the label under. I don't want. I click create. And now we see inbox starts, news, send, draft, my boss. And what's here? Yeah, my friend. Now I click create filter. And now they're showing only my friend message. You can see the message actually comes from my my own mail ID. But the subject is my friend. So now, now again, you can hover your mouse over the number. And then you can just um, click on that three dots. And you can just change the label color. I'm choosing this color because my friend is not very angry or something. If I go back to inbox, now you can see it's getting highlighted. Now my boss has sent a message and my friend has sent a message also. So that's also a really cool trick. Now let's go through all the messages. So this guy says, hi buddy. Now I'm going to say, hi. Now you can reply to message by clicking on the reply button over here. Over here, you can click the reply button or you can click here also. This is also reply. This is also reply. You can even archive the message like here. You can just archive it so that it, it doesn't appear in your inbox place. And you can report spam if the person is misbehaving. And you can delete the message. You can mark it as unread. You can snooze. You can even add to tasks like the task will be here. And click on that. I don't have any task. It's loading tasks, but it, it won't show any task. Welcome to tasks. Uh, it's another app of Google. Okay. You can even move to any folder. You can label. You can just label it by, or you can just move it to any other label you want. So that's really awesome. Okay. Now we're done with that. Let's go to the next message. Now, how are you doing? Now you can see there are three buttons here already. I'm fine. I'm good. Doing good. And you? Yes, I'm fine. I'm clicking this. My boss is saying something. Sahim, what's your full name? Why? My name is Mohammed Sahim. Set it off. I go back to my boss and still have one more. Please start. Uh, okay. Okay. It's like channel name, favorite. Okay. Okay. I will do it. Still have four inboxes left. My friend. Hey there. Want to join today's party? Um, sure. What time? Okay, are you ready for the field trip? No, I'm not. Oh, uh, what is he? Now? What are you doing? Nothing much. <laughs> okay, important message. Please join tomorrow's. Uh, okay, I click on okay, send it. Okay, now I you can see in the inbox they're showing zero, there's nothing, so it won't show anything. So that's also really awesome. So we're done with that. Now let's go to the place we were all looking for. Now you can see that this is a bit boring, right? The color is boring. Now do you want to make it much cooler? Let me just show you a nice cool trick. In which you can make it cooler. Wait, let me just show you. Go to settings. 
and then a box would appear like this. Now you can just change it to comfortable, compact, or default. It's your wish. I put it to the default. You can even now change the theme. Now I have only one. If you click on view all, other themes will also upload. So let me select my favorite theme. Where's that? Put put. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite theme. Mine is uh, Orcas Island. There are many grasses, and now I hit save, and now that's a bit better, like, you know, it's easy on the eyes. Okay. Now, this is the keyboard, you can just select the input tools, you can even check older and newer, older, newer, and you can see the total number of mail, send the mails they're showing. Okay, we're done with that, now let's see how to send a mail. Click on the plus sign, click on the correct mail, uh, type the correct mail ID. And then hit enter. So now it's going to my friend. The, auto, the name will be automatically detected. But sometimes it won't. But you don't need to worry. I have. Okay. You can type the subject. Uh, hello. This is the subject. And this is called the body. And in the body. The body is the message itself. So let me type it as a hello something. Where is the hand? Here it is. Hello. Okay. You can add attach files, you can insert links, you can even, you know, insert files using Google Drive, insert photos, and you can you can even insert signature, manage signature, and then you can just, you know, create a new signature. Can I create, I can just type the name of the signature, let me put it as, let me put it as super, super boy, and now when I click on create, so now it is select it is put as create. You can even delete the signature anytime you want. Okay, just close it. Okay. You have to save changes. Let's do it again. Manage signatures. Create new. Super boy. I click on create and come down and make sure you click save changes. And now when I type um I'll show you again. Now the signature is um, done. So you can even insert your signature. Like I don't have any signature right now. Uh, okay. Okay. Now you can even edit the text using this tool. If you click on that, it will not be there. If you click on that A underline, you can just edit the text. You can make it huge. You can bold, slant, underline, change text color. So that's cool. You can even align it the way you want the text to be give it a bold then you can now there's a drop down menu near send if you click on that there are there's an option schedule send so that's also a really cool option like for example if i click on that they will ask me the schedule send time it is used for like you know for example you're very tired and you're in the middle of the night and you want to send a mail right at the correct time you want to send a mail right at 12 o'clock midnight and now it is 11 30 and you're feeling very sleepy all you have to do is pick the date and time let me select this one and then it will be automatically be scheduled send now you can see the scheduled column it is showing number one when i click on that it is showing to muhammad hello so now it's showing hello because the message will be sent at 8 a.m so that's all, all awesome. It will be sent at July 6th, 8 a.m. That's yesterday. Anyways, leave it. It just put a random. You can even cancel the send anytime you want. I'm canceling. And now it will come back to you. You can just send it directly. If I go to my send column, it will be there. See how many messages I had sent just now? So that's cool. Okay. We're done with that. Now we've to I told you how to you can even change the way the comfortable. You can make it compact. I hate compact. You can make it comfortable. We can make it default. We can even change the important first messages or default. You can change it the way you want. You can even write of inbox and reading pane. And you can even just email threading. You can cl click this box. Up I'm, I don't want to. You can even change the theme. You can even select select see all settings so that you can just select other settings. Now this is also a very important um, setting. Maximum paid sites. For example, you have let's say five hundred mails, and then you, but 
In Gmail, they won't show all 500 mails directly unless you go to inbox and if unless you click on this arrow one by one to select to see the older messages. But if you don't want that, you can you go to settings and then maximum page size. You have to select show all. You can select hundred. You can select ten. But I prefer to put only you know, um, um. Only twenty five in one page. You know why? Because so that Gmail doesn't need to load all the mails. And uh, according to now, if your internet connection is more, then it will be okay to put a bigger number. But if your internet connection is um like very high, then you can put big numbers. If your connection is really low, like it's not really good, you can just put a no small number so that Gmail will be able to open it up quickly for you without you for waiting for it to do so. You can even just select the default. You, there are many settings you can go through: many tabs, labels, inbox accounts, filters, add ones, chat meeting, advanced, offline, and everything. Okay, let me go back there. Okay, make sure, like for example, you want the settings, and then you just put this as ten. And then once you put it as ten, you should scroll down and click on save changes. Otherwise, it won't work. Okay. So now it's reloading because it's showing only 10. So reloading. And now they're only showing 10 of 11 messages. Now if I click on older, they will show me the old message, which was that that is, that is only one of them. Still loading. Now you can see it's showing one of the messages, the oldest one. If I go back to the newer tab, it will show the newest messages. So that's cool. Now you can even search, use those messages to see, to search a particular mail. And now coming to the fun part. Start meeting. Now if I click on start meeting, it is starting a meeting for you. And now Google Meet is also a, an app like Zoom. Now it's getting ready. Still getting ready. Now it's showing no camera found because I am dis I have disconnected my camera. And now the more I talk, the more the sound waves is going. Now if I click join now, a sound will come. You can even add people by typing their email. I don't want to. And now I'm right here. Now when I switch on my camera, it's like can't find your camera. Okay, I don't care. Now the more I now when I'm talking to you guys, you can see it is showing the sound waves. Like it is highlighting my icon. Now when I turn on captions and like when I say hey guys, you can see it is showing hey guys here because when I turn on my captions and now if, for example if my microphone doesn't work properly so then you can turn my you can turn on your captions so that you can see what the other person is talking to you without without hearing their voice because the more they talk the computer will capture their voice and then it will be showing here now if i talk like um notification bell wait, wait. notification bell Okay, I said notification bell, but it is showing bell. So if you want it to be correct, you should talk very properly. Instead of saying belt, you should say bell. But sometimes you don't need to just. Now you can see when I said bell, it's showing barrel. <laughs> okay, let's stop it. Enough playing with that. Um, let me close it. Okay, so you can even join a meeting by just typing the code here. Okay. Now here is the now if now here it is the Hangouts page where you can start a new conversation. Like you, all you have to do is click on here and then type the name of the person. Like I mean the name, the email address. So let me type. I want to invite this guy. So now I'm on my other device. I'm receiving a message. Yeah, I've received a message. I'm holding the phone in one hand, and now I've received an invitation. Let's see if I receive it. Oh, I didn't send the invite. Make sure you send the invite. Now, once I've sent it, invite sent. Now, let's see if the message will come or not. Um, let's wait. And now you can. I have received the uh, invitation uh, because I'm holding the ball phone on the other hand. And now, now when I click accept. Now it is loading here, right? I didn't click anything on the computer. I clicked only in the phone. Now from the phone, I'm sending a message. Hi. Who? Okay. Now when I send who, a sound will come and the message will be there. 
And when I type hi here, when I hit enter, my folder has now received a message. Now I'm sending an em let me send a sticker, okay? Now I'm sending a sticker, and that is, let me send, um, you wait and see what I'm sending, okay? I'm sending a pirate. Now when I click on the pirate, that pirate image has come here. So this is also a great way, it's like WhatsApp, but it's much better. You can even maximize to get a better view. You can even send uh, your images from here. You can even add emojis. You can add funny stickers. You can add... There are quite a lot of things you can do here. You can add some turtles like that. So now I've received the message. I can even send here. I can send like again. I can even send help. So there are many things you can do here. Let me close it now. Okay. So now in the Hangout section, you can see that it's showing my name. Now whenever I send a message from the other device and send hi, you can see that will automatically pop up here. So now you can send a message from here also on the other side. Now my phone has received a message. So this is also a great way to communicate very fast because it's very quick. You can even start your video call by just clicking on this. And uh, it is the same thing in the mobile phone and any other tab or device. But now, okay, we're done with that. So now here also there are other Google apps you can go through and now this is you can now you can just select the messages from here and in the menu section you can just select on and off this and now, now I've taught you a uh, trick in which you can use for example your boss or your friend sent a message and it will be saved in the folder unless you follow those steps so guys that's the end of today's um, gmail folder review so if you find this video helpful please like this video and if you have any questions please put them in the comment section below and if you're new to my channel please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so that you get my latest updates and share with, and please share this video with your friends who think gmail is complex so now let's like, recap all what we learned and then that's the end so now come to send a message, click on the plus, type the email address correctly. And then make sure you type the subject so that the person knows what you're typing. And then the next column is the body itself. And then you can, the drop down menu, you can schedule send or just directly send. You can edit the text by adding another font. You can, you can make the text bold, italic, underline. You can change the color. You can, there are other, other formats you can try out. You can add, insert images, emojis, and other stuffs. You can schedule send just like I said, send. Or you can just directly send. And the message will be saved in the send column. So that's awesome. Okay. So now I just told you guys how to just save a message like that, a folder, and now start messages are the message you star, snooze are the message you just snoozed, sent, now let's snooze a message, let me snooze this message, you can click snoozed, and I'm snoozing it later today, now when I go to the snooze column, that message will be snoozed over here, so now it's snooze, now it's sent messages, sent messages you send, draft other messages you write and you want ready to send or you by mistakenly closed it and you can find it and then the series you can just stay, change the theme you can change the gmail view comfortable compact or default you can change the theme you can um, just change the inbox type you can go to settings and click see all settings and you can just uh, make in uh, gmail the way you want change the language and change the country you can change the undo sender for about a 5, 10, okay. Let me put it as 10 so that whenever I send a message, I can just undo it. So, default behavior you can reply, reply all. You can even change the color here, not in use or anything. Okay, let me put it the way I want it. Now, you have to click on save changes if, if you have done any changes. Or if you do, if you feel like I clicked something and you want to get rid of that, I click hands cancel. It's canceling. And now you can see it's already showing here, you know, that my friend, my boss, because we created the folder. Now you click on more, you, know, you can try the chat column in which you, I just chatted with, my, with the other device. You can the spam column, you can just block any user. Trash is other message, you just delete it. And category, there are other categories here like spam. You can even create new labels, start meeting, join meetings, and other stuff you can. Inbox, you can, you know, inbox a message you, you receive. And this is the refresh column, and this is selection, all, or only the red messages, unread, none, and unstarred, and all those. This is the search column, where you can just send messages, like, search messages, like, if I click on boss and I search, only my boss messages will become here, the top will be the, the labels one, labeled one. You can even, like, to Muhammad Sahim, or you can just send like that, and then you can just, you know, 
there are many options you can look there i've just taught you this basics so guys i think we have um reached the end so thanks for watching